I'm very glad to welcome our next uh, panelist today, Jonas Wendel, who's already been speaking earlier, so I don't think I have to introduce him um, in such a long, long manner. But as you know, Chief of Staff of the Secretary General of the Nordic Council of Ministers and um, has worked also as a Swedish ambassador in, in North Korea and has been representing the Nordic countries internationally and a lot of um, experience in, in different countries where he has worked and, and has an impressive career behind him. So I'm very glad that we, that we have you on board today. And if you could maybe give your own presentation about today's topic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so let me return to uh, where I ended my previous intervention about the challenges uh, ahead. I think uh, the COVID-19 crisis is of course serious in itself, but it has become even more so by the way it has been, been handled. Um, for the first time in several decades, borders have been closed by, uh, between Nordic countries. And this has been, been done without any prior notification, without any pre-alert, without any coordination of efforts, without any long-term planning of how to face in those measures or how to face them out. So in essence, it has been done without a Nordic perspective. And of course, this has created an enormous uncertainty. And we know from experience that commuters are very, very sensitive to uncertainty. If you remember in 2015, the border between Denmark and Sweden was not completely closed, but border controls were introduced in the wake of the uh, migration crisis. That meant that for commuters, the traveling time was almost doubled. That in itself led to that led to the effect that more that than that thousands of people actually left their jobs across a, a border um, and returned to their home country. And it, ha it has taken several years for the volumes of commuters to resume to or to return to the level that they had before those measures were put in place in 2015. So I think that my worry is that while our politicians believe that the measures that they are now putting in place are short term and temporary and that life will return to where it was once those restrictions are lifted, experience show that that is most often not the case. Again, the, risk, the risks involved with working, studying, doing business across borders has increased because of the uncertainty that has been introduced through the COVID-19 crisis and through the uncoordinated political uh, way it has been, been, been handled. And this is where I see the, the greatest challenge uh, ahead. Um, as far as the Nordic countries are concerned, at the moment, yes, we do understand that national priorities, national needs will always take priority over regional concerns or the uh, needs of, of commuters. But looking ahead, I think we have to start discussing a code of conduct, uh, a, a uh, protocol to be used in situations such as the one that we are now in. That protocol could include uh, mess measures such as an early warning system, um, a system where we give pre-notifications to each other to avoid surprises like the ones that we have seen during the COVID-19 crisis, where often ministers have read about what their counterparts in other countries are doing through media and not through direct personal contacts. I think there should also be introduced a level of, of a Nordic level where we do impact assessments of what will the consequences of na one national decision 
have for, for the Nordic re region as a whole. And of course, we would like to see a greater coordination of, of uh, Nordic solutions. Not only bilateral solutions that can be good, of course, but we need Nordic solutions where we see a uh, uniform adaptation of measures throughout the region. Of course, this is easier said than, uh, than done. I think that for, for any politician, um, the safety and the protection of your own citizens, your own borders, your own territory is, is, a, is a prime, prime duty. And it is, of course, always difficult to convince some, someone or a politician that they should have the Nordic region in mind when they take decisions based upon national needs. But again, my biggest concern is this, that we tend to underestimate the long-term effects that political decisions have on cross-border mobility. And this is where I would like to see the Nordic countries work more in, in tandem. So I'll stop there. Thank you very much for these very clear and thought-provoking ideas and thoughts. And some of them already covered also the, the questions that I would have had to the panelists. So I'm really glad that you already pointed out questions of, of Nordic cooperation, for example, and especially these long-term effects that you pointed to. Thank you very much for your, for your talk.